What's up guys? Shane here from Fugitech 3D Printing. Today, we're gonna review some more filament. So today, we're reviewing Foxmart PLA. I ordered a sample pack off their website to see how it printed. It's a pretty good price. A lot of people talk about it as being one of the cheapest. It's sub $20 per kilogram. So you figured what the heck for, I think it was $4.99, you can get a sample pack of five colors. And so I picked one up and had a couple prints. We'll see how they turned out. First off, here's the filament. Well, obviously this isn't all of it. I've printed with it to get some prints to show you, but the blue came obviously end of the spool. They must, you know, spool it and then take off the 10 meters per each one. And then that's what you get. Mine obviously came from the bottom of the spool, which wasn't fantastic, but luckily I have a small spool that I printed and I could wrap this on it and that was able to print with it. I uh, have orange, black, yellow, and green. I did use up all of the green, so I'll be able to show you the prints I used for that. And let's take a look at some prints. First up, we're gonna look at the blue. So the blue came out great. There was two sections in here though that looked like they under extruded. So I'm going to, since it was only those two lines, I'm gonna say that it probably was an inconsistent filament diameter there. It was a little too small for that layer because the rest of it printed you know, without fail. Very good bottom layer, very good top layer. A little bit rough though, it seemed. I don't know if maybe I, maybe I over extruded the top just a little bit. I'm not sure though, but other than that, I don't know if you can see the line here. So here we're zoomed in and there's a line just down here. You can see the under extrusion for that line and it goes all the way around. It's on the inside as well. But aside from that, great print. This is actually a Samala Ikea for a small Ikea container. And this holds on the top, clips on like so, and it holds the lid on since those don't have clips. Here I have another smaller clip. This one was much thinner, and the first one I printed failed because it's so thin. I mean, it's maybe, I mean, it's only four, I'm using two perimeters, but so it's four perimeters in order to make up each side. So I just kinda wanna show you guys with the raft on it. I should say, I'm sorry, not a raft, a brim. And it peels right off the outer ones do at least, very easily. And there's the last one that's right against it. But, and there we have a very clean piece. And this again is for the Samala Ikea containers. It's another lid clip, just another style, just something I pull off Thingiverse. I'm, I'm trying out different ones for the containers I have, so I figured why not I have some filament here to try out. Let's do this. This actually one turned out perfectly from bottom to top, top layers, original bottom layers, two perimeters, three top, three bottom layers. I did three top, three bottom on all of these, two perimeters on all of these just to keep things consistent. But this one, there's a tiny bit of stringing down in here, but it's super tiny and you can barely notice it with you swipe up a finger. It's pretty much all gone you know, maybe put something in there real quick, but it'll be gone. So this one came out absolutely perfect. So next up we have the yellow and the yellow is a excellent color along with the blue. All of the colors from Fox Mart actually are very vibrant and this yellow, super consistent. This actually is a toilet seat holder for my kids, little potty seat that sits on top of the toilet. This found this on Thingiverse. The original one had one or two holes in here but since my bathrooms are tile, 
I decided to take this into SketchUp. That's pretty much what I use. And I deleted out the whole back, recreated the rectangle for the back and the front, and that was it. So very easy to make. This is printed on its side. So the way you're looking at it is the way it prints on the build plate downwards. And both the side on the, the bottom side, which is pretty much like glass because I'm printing on glass and it's very nice and smooth. And the top one, the yellow came out absolutely baby smooth, much smoother than the blue did, which was interesting, but um, nonetheless, that's the way it was. Every layer in between came out just right and overall, very good print, very good color. Now we have the black. So for the black, I had enough that I went ahead and printed, I had originally printed, it was going to print three fossil fish because you can get three of these out of the 10 meters. But the first one came out perfectly. The second one did not. Um, I did take an epic fail picture. I have not posted anywhere. I may or may not add it to the video, but for some reason after about five or 10 layers, it caught and it just grabbed all of it. And of course I walked away after I get the first two layers down, I usually walk away and it had completely gummed up my extruder nozzle and the, the heat block, everything. But I got that cleaned off. Not sure if it was the filament's fault, but again, that was the only one of all of these that came off. So, but the filament fish came out great, both of them, both times, same settings, nothing was changed. I printed one, took it off, let it cool, took it off the heated bed, heated it back up, print a second one. On the one, on the tail piece, which one is it? On this one, you can't tell, but in the tail piece, there was a little bit of issues with the bridging. But aside from that, they flex the way they should, you know, all the way around. That one does, and this one does. You know, came out just the way they should. Top layers are good, bottom layers are good. Virtually no stringing. I'm looking at it, there may be five little strings total. Uh, so that came out perfectly. And good print. And finally, we have the green. So with the green, I printed out three separate, in one print, I printed all three of these filament um, dusters, filament cleaners, whatever you want to call them. And you take a little piece of sponge, and this one here, I saw this one on Chuck's channel, and a little loose, so I think I need, there's one setting that he did in order to make this joint tighter, but that's my slicing, that's not the filament at all. So you take a little piece of sponge, put it in there, and that clips together. So this one is a, came out a little bit loose. Again, I believe it's my setting in Simplify 3D for this. It does hold, so I could use this on a printer without issue, but it does flex a little bit. Other than that, top layer is good, bottom layer is good. It prints open like so on the build plate and you just kind of crack it just like the fossil fish does. It prints the joint, you know, internally, you'll snap it together, anything like that. But this came out great. Then I printed out two of these barrel style. So this one is straight through all the way and this one is tapered. So it's small on this side, large on this side. And this one also has, what, ZYX3, I don't know, this actually came out backwards. So I'm pretty sure my uh, settings on that had my X or Y reversed and it printed all the text backwards. Had that issue happen a few times so need to look at that, but either way, it printed backwards. I have used this one before, and it worked out great. I haven't tried this one yet, and I haven't tried the clip yet either. I did print a fossil fish with the green, but we gave it away to a friend. They wanted it for one of their kids, and that's okay. But the green, again, great color. It's a bit lime, I'll say. It's not quite the green that I was hoping for, but it's a little bit lime, you know, or neon green, we could say, kind of like a neon orange would be. And, but overall, great one. So I forgot to mention, there actually was six colors in this kit. It was orange, red, green, yellow, black, and blue. The red, I actually printed a nine millimeter fast loader for my nine millimeter. And I left that back at home with my dad so that he could use it. 
and that came out fantastic. That one was printed at 100% infill in order to make it nice and strong. There was no issues like in the blue one here, how we had this one random layer under extrude. There was nothing, nothing like that. It's super strong. I used it for a good hundred rounds loading it in and it held up very well and I'm very happy with the quality. So the Foxmark PLA, the sample pack comes in a normal bag. It's not um, shrink wrapped to it or anything like that. And this came in a padded envelope. It came in with a very simple, super dry desk pack. I've actually never seen one like this. Uh, you can see the, it's some type of like a material in there. It's not really, well, I guess let's open it up. Uh, it's not like the normal silica beads. And yeah, it's kind of interesting. So it's like a fabric and the other side is clear and you can see inside there. It's pretty hard with the lighting because it's, it's like, but it's all cracked up now. It's a little bit gummy. So I'm guessing that it's wet. I mean, I haven't had this in a really sealed environment, but it's, it's, it's gummy. So I guess it did absorb moisture the way it should have. But again, I've never seen one of these. All the ones I get were have beads in them. But either way, it was in a sealed plastic bag, not vacuum sealed, with this silica packet in it. it. Was good enough for it. I have noticed though that the blue has become very, very brittle. And just by bending it, it snaps very, very easily. Now, I have had this filament on hand for a good two or three months now. I guess two months since I ordered it. I'm just now getting around to doing videos and whatnot, but it has been in a sealed environment for most of the time. Uh, it's either been inside a large ba uh, vacuum seal bag that I have and I just suck the air out with a vacuum along with some other filaments. I now have a container to hold everything in. But again, this just snaps super easily and it's only the blue. See now it's actually not. Um, but I had a problem loading it in to my GTEC to print with because it kept snapping. It was just so hard to get in there. But needless to say, it printed well. I am happy with it. I would, you know, wonder how a full roll of blue would last if you don't keep it perfectly sealed all the time, if you're gonna get the brittle, you know, the brittleness of it. Again, see now it's not breaking because I had so many breaks and that first one broke easily, but now it's just bending the way it should. So just to show you guys, this is the filament spool that I have. I printed this off of Thingiverse. I'll put the link in the description below. And it worked out great. You just take the end. There's a small notch that this falls into. And once it's in there, it's sealed. And then you just wrap it around and around and around. I did wrap it um, pretty tightly when I printed with it. You know, to make sure that it would be nice and tight. And it actually it, um, formed very well because of its small diameter. It formed very well to the spool. I would think that the some of these larger ones might have a little bit of trouble just because the diameter is so narrow of this small spool. But either way, it worked great. I'm very happy with the filament. I'm very happy with the colors of the filament that I received. The red was a uh, very dark red, not something uh, lighter red that you would see, like a Pokemon ball red, uh, fire engine type red. It was much darker. Um, I'm not sure what, exactly what to call the color. The orange is also darker color. It's much darker than the orange I have of the Hatchbox orange. So, well, actually, let me get one piece real quick. So here is a GoPro 200 millimeter extension, orange obviously, of the Hatchbox orange, and here is the Foxmart orange. And you can see when you put them together, the Foxmart almost looks, it looks very red. So there's a lot of red dye in it to make their color. It's dark, it's for some people. Uh, I personally like the much lighter, more true orange than more of this red orange color. But again, for the price of it, it's really, really cheap stuff. It's sub $20, which if you can get a kilogram of filament for sub $20, that's not half bad, especially when it prints well. So everything I've shown you today, I printed with pretty much the same settings. 205 degrees centigrade on the nozzle, 60 centigrade on the build plate, 
two perimeters, three top layers, three bottom layers, 15 to 20% infill, except for the nine millimeter quick loader. I did that at 100% infill just to be sure that would be strong enough. And even these small parts were all 15, 20% infill, which basically made them solid just because the, there are only two perimeters around them anyways, two to three perimeters. So that made them basically solid anyways. The bottom of this one did have a infill, though this one has an infill, the bigger items did. But again, everything came out great. If you need a cheap filament, I highly recommend Foxmart. That being said, I purchased this sample pack out of my own money. Foxmart did not send it to me. They are not paying for this episode, but hey, Foxmart, you guys wanna send me some filament? I'll print some big stuff with it. Got a FT5, so let's make it happen. Thank you for watching my review. Please subscribe, like the video, let me know what you thought about in the comments. And as always, happy printing.